guys. SS4 Gogeta 069 here. Um, I'm going to show you today how to make a bubble that will launch your homebrews or your emulators inside of TNV. It's the easiest way I've found to use a bubble to launch an emulator. So I already have SNES 9X in my TNV on my Vita. I'll show you. Open up Filer. Okay, PSP game, and there it is. S9XTYLCM underscore MOD. That's the name of my folder. And if I go one more step, you'll see right there is fboot.pbp, which is the actual program that runs. So, what you're going to want to do is I will provide all four of these files right here. I'll link to them in the video. All you have to do is go open path.txt it'll open in your hex editor. Now you're gonna have MSO, PSP, and game whatever the name of your homebrew folder or emulator folder whatever you're using you need to put that where I have s9xtylcm underscore mod and then if it's an fboot, you want fboot.pbp. If it's an eboot, you want eboot.pbp. Either way, that's what you want in there. Once you get done, you're going to want to hit File, Save. Or you can just click the X and it will ask you, do you want to save it? And you can tell it yes. All right, once you're done with that, you're going to open up UMD Gen. It's going to be really loud because I forgot to turn my volume down. You're going to open, and inside this folder, you're going to open up loader.iso. You're going to go to PSP game. And you're going to go to USR DIR. Open that up, and you have path.txt. Well, all you have to do is come over here and take this path.txt that we created, drag it, and drop it right there. It'll ask you, do you want to overwrite? Tell it yes. And now, you go up here to save. Save, uncompressed as an ISO. And I'm going to name mine SNES, except it's going to be capital letters, dot ISO, SNES dot ISO. Now, you can close UMD Gen, and as you can see, we have SNES dot ISO right there. Now, I already have my fake NP folder over here with my base game in it named PSN dot PBP. I got it off of Sony's website. I assume you know how to do that. You're going to take your SNES ISO, drag it, and drop it over here. Now we are done with the UMD Gen folders. We can close it. Now we're in here. You're going to shift, right click. open command window here. And here's the command window. You're going to type in fake underscore np dot exe space dash b so it'll copy the base then you type in your base file name whatever it is mine is psn dot pbp 
and you type in snes.iso or whatever you named your iso file you just created and then your output file which mine is eboot2.pbp hit enter and there it is it's done you can now close this folder and you have an eboot right there there's your eboot2.pbp I have a SNES folder here with a pboot in it for SNES what you're gonna do is open it up over here on the right side you'll have a game ID mine is NPUG80320 that is for my game which is NumBlast. If yours is different, you need to change that to match your game. Not the folder that you're using, but the base game. If you have a folder named NPUG80CL1, you still need to put NPUG80320. Otherwise, it won't work. Once you get that done, save it. My save is right there and then close that and you're done there's your p-boot then I'm gonna take my e-boot and put it over here so now I have my e-boot and my p-boot right there in SNES done with fake NP I can close it now Gonna open up FileZilla. I'm gonna go over here to my Vita, and I'm going to always make sure that your Wi-Fi is on. Mine doesn't seem to want to connect right now. There we go. Make sure your Wi-Fi is on, and start FTP. If you have to do it through TNV, do it through TNV. If you have a bubble, do it through the bubble. Once it starts, connect to it, and here we go. You're going to rename your PSP folder. PSP2, it doesn't really matter, just rename it. F5 refreshes, make sure it's done. You're going to go in here, you're going to go to game and then go to your folder you're going to use. I'm going to do NPUG80CL1 just to show you guys. I'm going to click on it to rename it. And I'm going to add ampersand, which is the and symbol, to the end of it. Hit enter, and it renames it. NPUG80CL1 and alright then I'm gonna go back up right here to my game right click create directory and I'm gonna name it the same thing I have without the end so I'm gonna name it NPUG 80 CL 1 enter now as you can see I'm going to refresh it just to show you. It stayed there. I have NPUG80CL1 and NPUG80CL1 and. The and folder should have your original eboot in it. Now, you open it up and you're going to take your pboot and you're going to drag it. and drop it into that folder. Refresh, it stays there. Then you're gonna name, rename this pboot from pboot2.pbp to pboot.pbp dot dot. Hit enter, F5 refreshes, and now you have a pboot in with your eboot. 
So you're good there. Back out of there. Open up the folder you created that should be empty. You're going to take your eBoot and you're going to drag it and drop it in this folder. Refresh. It stays. Then you're going to rename it just like you did with the pboot. eboot dot pbp dot dot refresh it stays there you should be done so now you need to rename your PSP folder this is very important rename your PSP folder back to PSP if you don't do this it will create problems Gonna refresh just to be sure and it is still PSP if you want you can back out right here there's your PSP okay so you're done in here so now I'm gonna go over here and hit square to exit out of FTP I'm gonna close my filezilla because I don't need it anymore close FTP now since you have to have Wi-Fi off and flight mode on to connect to OpenCMA, I always turn it off because you can kill two birds with one stone if you need to connect to it. Power off your Vita. Once it finishes powering off, you're going to hold down the PlayStation button, your power button, and the R button. I'm going to have to put the camera down to do this, but... Hold these down. As soon as it comes on, you can let up on it. It'll boot up in safe mode. You're going to tell it to rebuild database. Yes, you're sure. And you should be done. It's going to restart and it's going to reboot. I'm sorry, it's going to rebuild the database. Mine takes three or four minutes. Yours may take 30 seconds. It may take 10 minutes. It depends on how much you have on here. If you have anything in folders, it will no longer be in folders. It takes everything and puts it all on the home screen. Be sure to watch my other videos. I have one for TNV, adding a bubble. I'm also a mod on the Game Genie forum. If you have a PS3 on official firmware and you'd like to mod your game saves, cheat a little bit, go to thegamegenie.com. Okay, it's done rebuilding. Open it up, scroll down. And there is SNES 9X emulator. Tap it. Start. And there's my emulator. There you go. You're done. Be sure not to ever delete any bubbles off of here. If you do, it will delete the license with it, and you will have to redo all of your bubbles. Not a good idea. So don't ever delete them out of here. Delete them with Filer. I'm sorry. FTP. Anyway, that's it, guys. Y'all have a good one.